Hello everyone, it's TJ here, and welcome back to my uh, menu tutorial series. And, uh, and if you remember in the last three tutorials, what we did is we created a first level uh, and a main menu level, which is what we've got open at the moment. And when you click play, you've got new game where you can set the player name and the player agenda. You've got load game, which is just an empty box at the moment. You've got level select, which is a selection of eight bigger buttons which we will later turn into actual images options which contain nothing at the moment and quit which will work if your game is actually built and run now in this part what I've decided to do is we're going to tackle loading and what I mean by that is when you click load game if it detects as a save game you'll see your player name you play agenda, low character, and delete character. Uh, delete character I automatically removes this whole character, and load the character will load the current level the character is on. Right, to do that, we open up Mono Development. And firstly, what we need to do is we need to create another string. So, firstly, we're going to create private string. Let's go current level equals empty at the moment. And then what we need to do also is come down to our load. There we go. Our load game menu function. And then we need to uh, we need to create things. So firstly, I think probably the best way to do this is only sure if it's detected that there is an actual current player and to do that if it is we need to check uh, we do an if player prefs dot and we have has key and what this basically is is it detects a key um, Where's my new game? Here we go. So if you look in our new game menu, you will see player press set string, player name, and then player name. What that is is that there, that player name right there, is the key. If you go into your save files, that will show then next to it you'll see the player actual player name so what we want to do is we want to grab that scroll down to our load and in here put it in there so if the player has a save slot called player name execute this code here Now, what we need to do then is create a few things. So if we look at this, the actual box, the true save game, starts halfway down the screen minus 100. And then it starts 10 from the side. So what we do is we want to do a GUI.label. It's a new rect. And we'll do it 20 from the left. So it's an extra 10 pixels in from the side of the box. Screen dot height divided by two minus. Uh, do, 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 do. It's not really going to be that big, so we'll do 65. Uh, then we want it about 200 because we, the player name can have at least 200 in there and 25 as standard and after this what we want to do is type in player name put a space after otherwise it will be quite close together then we're going to do a plus and then player prefs dot get string and then 
player name. And up there, we'll draw a label uh, inside our box. Is a player name, and then next to it will actually be your player name. Now, there's one way to test this out. If you save this off and go into Unity, I wait for it to go along. Uh, click play. Now, if we go low game, we see nothing. If we click new game, uh, T Junkie and Mail. Then click create character. Now if we unplay again and click play again, click low game, and it didn't work. Let's see what's going on here. I think it might be because it's meant to be like this. Could be wrong though. And for now, I'm just going to come out of the application load level so it doesn't actually load a level. If we go in back into here, and let's see what happens. Uh, nothing in the low game, new game, T junkie, gender is male. Let's create a character. I've clicked back and click the low game. There we go, yeah, I had them in the wrong order. So you can see you've got your player name is T Junkie. Well, yours would be different. And basically to sort that is in the new game options. You scroll down a bit to if the player is not equal to null and the player gender is not equal to null. Uh, this button shows up. In there where it says player press set string, you want to make sure the key is before the value. Otherwise it won't work. As you could probably tell. <laughs> now what we could do here is actually in the load game we can copy this, paste that in, uh, what did I call it, player gender, did I call it gender or gender, yeah, gender, we don't need all this there, uh, we want it the same height, but we want it slightly more over. So now we know it's 200 and it starts from 20, so that's 220. We want to put at least a 10 gap between them, so 230 from the left. And it doesn't need to be massive, so we can have that as 100. Just to be on the safe side, I guess. Somebody wants to create a new gender. I guess that could be in there. Now if we click Oh, it's running. Uh, if I click low game, there you go. Because we already sorted this out, you can see T Junkie Mail. I mean, we can refine this a lot more. So at the top here, it says player name, gender right there, along with some buttons there, which we will probably look into later on. But now that's all sorted, it's time to create some buttons. Now, call of if blocks. GUI dot button, the new rect. Uh, this is where it's going to become different. See, we know we want two buttons. And at the same time, we know that this, the whole width of it, is divided by 2 plus 100. So, what I want to do is screen dot width 
divided by 2 minus That's 50, that's 2, minus 220, just for testing, I don't even know if that's fully right, 150, no that's the height, so we want to do screen dot height, divided by 2 minus 65, to get the same height as the text, 150 wide and 25 high. This button is going to be called uh, load character. And, this, and then when we, we know we've got this in, what we'll do is we'll create another one and we'll just call it delete character. And this one only needs to be minus. 60. 60? Yeah, minus 60. If we save that off and make sure they're in the right positions. Yeah, that's in the right position. That's alright. So here we've got name, we've got low character, delete character. At the moment they don't do anything. But what we'll do is quite quickly this delete character. What we'll do is player prefs dot delete all like that and what that'll do is once the button's pressed it will wipe your whole save games everything we we're going to do in this this tutorial it's going to wipe it all and uh, I'll show you that now actually after saving it I'll come back to uni now let's go low game now you can see your character if I click delete it gets rid of it it's completely gone now if I click back out and click back in Low game, it's completely gone. Now I want to go to new game. T junkie. Uh, Glyphon. I have no idea, I just made up that word right now. If there's actually a word, um, I apologise, I have no idea what it's for. Now if I go low game, there you go. T junkie, Glyphon. Low character, delete characters back. Now what I want to do also is want to come up to the create character. Now underneath this create create character, we want to have player prefs dot set string, and we want to call it current level underscore current level. And what that will do is I'll save the current level now. However, we're not really set what the current level is. We just said the current level saves current level, which makes no sense at all. But for what we'll do for now is we'll just type level zero one right there. Open the uh, yeah. We type that exactly what the level is actually called. It's not a name. It's actually what your level is called. You see what I mean? What we do is if we want to go down to our loading, what we should do is application dot load level. Now we want to do is type player press dot get get string and current level now I think I've tried this out before and it does work but we'll we'll check we'll, we'll try anyway and see what happens so now that's all in <coughs> what I'm gonna need to do however if I go low game now and click low character, it won't work because it's not been added to the build settings. It says level whatever has not been added to the build settings. I want to do up here is click file build settings. If you haven't done this already, you know it's actually out there. However, 
the reason why this doesn't work is because what we did is we added this save here for the current level after we already created our character. So when I click lo load level, it just says level and it has no level at all. So what I want to do is I want to delete our character, click new game, type in name again, gender again, create character. Then we go back, what I want to do is click load game and load character. And there we go, straight in level one. So if I was to come back into it, I click load game, load character. Straight away we're straight back in. Now, obviously when we get a little more into the, uh, more into it and we've got loads more saves, we're going to be adding more saves here like loading current skills and all that. But uh, there's a quite a neat trick, we don't have to do 100 lines. It's uh, I do believe there's a there's a player press stock get all, and it gets everything that's saved. When then you load the level from that, but since we've only got like one really that we need to keep in this at least, it's just current level. So now I've done all that. In the next tutorial we will get cracking on with the audio options and the graphics options. I think the audio options will come first because we've got to do a bit of that but we've also got to tweak the main camera in our scene as well and we might add some ambient sound also so you can hear the volume being changed in real time and the options and always have an apply button which actually saves it to your profile. So when you come back into the game and load the game up, it will be at the the volume will be what you previously set. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. This I've been T Junkie, and uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Goodbye. See you next time.